Wisconsin School Diplomatic History The Wisconsin School of American Diplomatic History is a school of thought that emerged from the History Department of the University of Wisconsin in the 1950s and 1960s. The school, exemplified by the work of William Appleman Williams, and also including as core members Walter Laffeber, Thomas J. McCormick, and Lloyd Gardner, generally holds that economic reasons and the desire for increased markets abroad were the driver behind much of American foreign policy and the creation of an American empire during the 19th these beliefs which consign to subordinate status other possible explanations such as morality security and balance of power calculations have been referred to as the open door interpretation in reference to the open door notes of 1899 and 1900 two ongoing world events highlighted the influence and debate over wisconsin school thought one was the historiography of the cold war where revisionist theories held by the school stated that the United States bore a large share of the responsibility for the breakdown in post-World War Roman II relations with the Soviet Union. The other was criticism of the Vietnam War. The Tragedy of American Diplomacy, the 1959 work that Williams became best known for, became heavily referenced by many of those participating in opposition to the United States' involvement in the Vietnam War, and dissatisfaction with the war boosted the popularity of the open-door interpretation. But works of the Wisconsin School focused not just on causes of the Cold War or Vietnam, but the entire course of American expansion from the time of the nation's creation. The tenets of the Wisconsin School have been incorporated to some degree by other lines of scholarly thought in the decades since and still remain influential. Background and Members Four bears to the Wisconsin School include Charles A. Beard and his economically determined theories of American history that became widely read in the early 20th century before later becoming unpopular. A more direct antecedent was the influence and intellectual mentoring of Wisconsin professor Fred Harvey Harrington, under whom Williams studied. In part, the ideas of the Wisconsin School were due to the nature of the department itself. As American historian Emily S. Rosenberg has written, while many other history departments across the country celebrated Cold War orthodoxies, exiling economic interpretations from respectability and removing Beard from reading lists, Wisconsin maintained an attachment to economic interpretation and to independent, unorthodox thinking. The immediate fact, as British historian John A. Thompson has written, this work may well have had a greater influence of the historiography of U.S. foreign policy than any other. Williams was followed in visibility by several of his students, most notably Walter Laffeber, but also Thomas J. McCormick and Lloyd Gardner. Your work helped gain the Wisconsin School of Diplomatic History and national reputation. After Williams left Wisconsin for Oregon State University in the late 1960s, McCormick replaced him on the faculty there. Another scholar, sometimes associated with the Wisconsin School, is Carl Parini. Of other people at Wisconsin, some have considered David F. Healy and Robert Freeman Smith to be at least partly a member of the school, but they are distinct in not holding commercial factors to be the primary factors above all in explaining American policy. Students of Williams who carried forward his themes have included Edward P. Crapple, Howard Sconberger, Tom E. Terrell, and others. Characteristics